Well, it just sounds like you're talking to yourself. Yeah, I think we're just going to start again. For, for, uh, we, uh, for anyone, yeah, okay, well, so we're starting again. <laughs> this is the uh, second round of recording because I may, someone may have, maybe not me, forgot to plug in the audio piece. So this is episode two of the Hear No Evil podcast. Episode two, we're joined by Becca. Co-host. Co- 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 <laughs> it's, it's me, it's co-host Kirsten over there. We've got Becca. Becca O'Connor and Ella Kennedy here with us today. Hi, girls. How are you? Good. Good. They already said hi. They already said hi, but yeah. we lost that recording. It's uh, Becca's birthday today. Happy birthday, Becca! Thank you very much. What Happy age are you now? Happy birthday. Nineteen. <laughs> yeah. Nineteen. So old. So. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's and plans for your birthday. So that you um, didn't tell us about already. So I definitely didn't tell you, but I'm going to the wild lights on Friday. And with the wild lights at the zoo. Yeah, by myself. <laughs> By yourself. Yeah. You? Not going with anyone. No. 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 Do you know Becca's boyfriend's name is Connor, and her second name is O'Connor? What a wow! Oh, Connor. How 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 quirky is that? Imagine if he took my last name. Speak into the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Imagine if he took my last name. Connor O'Connor. Connor O'Connor. O'Connor. Hi, Connor. How are, is Connor going to be listening to this? I don't no. know. Probably. Does he have nothing? Does he does he seriously have better things to be doing than listening to the Hear No Evil podcast? Mm, Don't answer. Working. It. It's your birthday tomorrow, isn't it, Kirsten? Yes, it is. What age are you going to be? Like seventeen. Fourteen, maybe. Thirteen, maybe. <laughs> Se- eighteen. Eight. Oh, eighteen. Wow. So you can buy like alcohol. Alcohol. What are you going to say? You're going to be in going to the going to the the shop and be like some of your finest alcohol, please. Yeah. That's how you. That's exactly how you're gonna say Actually. it. <laughs> One of your most expensive wines, please. <laughs> <laughs> One of your finest beers, please. That's. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Ella, what's what's up? What's up? What's happening? You doing anything for? What is? It's nearly Christmas. Whoop. Christmas in uh, four weeks. One month and two days. One month and two oh, days. Three days. Plans Ella. for Christmas, Ella. Going to Edinburgh. Going to Edinburgh. Yeah. We didn't talk about this at all no. already. Edinburgh, are you excited? Yeah, I think so. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Oh, who are you going to Edinburgh with? My boyfriend. What's your boyfriend's name? Sean. Sean. Yeah. Great. I've only ever been in England. Two places in England. But a few times. Really? Where? 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 Yeah, and I didn't tell them this already. Westminster. Westminster. I actually did go by that. Uh, I was in London. Which I'm not a fan of yeah, at why, all. Why don't you like London, though? I don't know. It's just like... But, like, Buckingham Palace looks so nice. King Charles could be listening. Oh. Charlie. Charlie, I am so <laughs> sorry. So sorry, Charlie. I just don't like... I don't like cities. Not a fan of... Don't look at me like that. I don't like... You live in a city. I live far from a city. It's... There's, like... How many people are... Connor, how many people are in Kinniad? 3,000. 3,000. 3,000 people in Kinniad. That really? is nothing. There's 300 people living in Cron. <laughs> that's just Cron. There's 100 in Clonard. Cron's on a mountain. Yeah. No, is a volcano, actually. Yeah. A, a dormant. It's not extinct. It's not extinct. No, so no. it's just a dormant. dormant. Cron Hill is a dormant volcano. Yes. yes. I didn't know that. Correct. Correct, Correct and right. <laughs> right answer. <laughs> that's a. Uh, I've been up. You've been up I assume you've been up Cron Hill loads no, of times. Never know. No. You're. Uh, you're missing out. It's a great 10 minute walk. 10 minutes? It took us 10 minutes. We flew up that thing. No, you went the wrong way. So, which way? We did went, you go? we did parked. You go by the community center? We parked at the community center, it must be. Yeah, and we, you went like, the wrong way. That's we, the it easy was like way. steep. That's the, That's the way. easy way. You have to go to the back of the hill. Oh my god, it's by the way. I, There's if, if my. The population dropped. Oh really? Yeah. It's only 2,700. Oh, 300 people died <laughs> what <laughs> when, when did that happen the easy side of Croton Hill no we That's uh, the way you it was like it was like I, I'm sure this was like 70 degrees angle the whole way yeah, up yeah that's yeah. the front of the hill that's horrible bag of the hill is like, like 90. 90 degree angle why would anyone want to put themselves through that I did it every year for 19 years on St. Patrick's Day same so Except during COVID. I I St. Patrick's Day, I usually yeah. just... I you know, Oh, I used to go into the Mullingar Parade, but I think it has dropped in quality in the last few years. 
I was never at a parade before. Never at a parade. Well, now, do you know what? Actually, that's probably not fair to say that drop in quality. I think as I just grew older, yeah. the appeals of parade stuff don't uh, appeal to me as much anymore. Thoughts on that, Kirsten? Any thoughts? No, not at all. Are you drinking hot chocolate? Yes. You drink hot chocolate in my studio. No drinks or food allowed. No drinks or food allowed. Oh my god. Oh my god. So no, th- you never. Be- have you ever been to the St Patrick's Day Parade, Mullingar? Yeah. Have you ever climbed Crown Hill? No. Never climbed Crown Hill. You're missing out on so much. You can see, <laughs> like, when you're on top of it, you can see trees. You can see the Salib Blue Mountains. You can see a Blue. house. You can see, like, six counties, I think it is. That is actually, it's, it's, uh, I, you know, when I was up there the last day, I, was, I regretted not bringing my camera, because it is. I climbed Crowpatrick before. The full way? Yeah. But yeah, we only ever made it halfway. Well, actually, I, a y- Actually, story, you didn't. Funny story, right? <laughs> so, my mom was, like, seven months pregnant. <laughs> Oh my god, no! Oh, so no. you climbed it in your mother's stomach. That's what you did. You were <laughs> no, in the no. womb. No, no, no. No, this was <laughs> a few years ago when she had Ellie. So Ellie's three, so like four years ago, right? So, no. Oh my god. It was just <laughs> literally, I swear, it was like a few weeks after she had Ellie. So she still had her, like, bump, like, and she was still, like, you know, when you're after, like, Who's having a baby. Oh, yeah, I know all about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so we went, and she was like, right, I'll do this, but we won't go the full way. So we were like grand, like we wouldn't be able for it. And <laughs> this old man came up to my dad and was like, Are you going up to the top? <laughs> and my, my dad didn't know what to say and he was like, Oh, we don't know yet and he was like, Oh, uh, my wife recent or my wife recently got diagnosed with cancer. Now I'm not dissing this or anything, but and he was like, I'd love for you to go up to the top for me and Oh, like he put, wasn't going up. Yeah, and mm. like you know the way, like you, I think he put like a coin or something down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, we had to end up going up to the top then to put this coin down. Oh, oh. isn't it? Isn't like you know when people just land you with stuff like yeah. that? It's like you cannot say no. What are you go, What are you gonna say? No, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> don't care. We're going halfway up. <laughs> Actually, no. You know what? We're gonna make it up. I'm not gonna put the coin down. <laughs> and that's, that's that. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I get that in the petrol station a lot. Now, no one has ever said they've come in and said, <laughs> my wife has cancer, I can't pay for diesel. But it has happened where I... Uh, some guy came in a few weeks ago now, and he comes in and he said, oh, I have to get the ferry, uh, I, can't, I have no money on me. Oh, really? I have to pay for any 40 euro diesel. Like, and, and I was... It was so stupid because I didn't... Like, I got his contact details and everything, but I didn't think in my mind... So naive of me. Who would be getting on a ferry with no money? Who's getting on a ferry with no money? That guy. That guy, I suppose. But he could have had his tickets paid for. He could have. Sorry, I didn't hear that, Becca, because you're standing. He could have had his tickets paid for. Yeah, but then you get where you get the ferry to, France or England, and then what are you going to do in France and England with no money? Because I hear French people actually aren't too happy to give away croissants for free. I learned that the hard way. We got jumped. We we we. When? Merci beaucoup. Did you do French? I did do French. It's disgusting. I did it for, uh, geez, I, it was six years. Six years of French. Crazy. Crazy. No. I sat for your document for two years. Document. I did, we didn't actually do documents. We were told that they were I I did a document. pointless. You did a document? Or like the one with the photo? Yeah. Yeah, I did that. Oh, I didn't do that. Were we supposed to do that? Yeah, it's for it an oral. option. No, in my oral, I talked about uh, French. I don't even know. I don't even know. It was such I a did blur. I on my scholarship to America. You got a scholarship to America? Yes. <laughs> and that's why you're in Minute? Yeah. So why why didn't you? You're talking. You're talking. Talking before and you. And then. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like I'd yeah. stand over here and then move close. So t- tell us about this. I didn't know you had a scholarship to America. Well, like, when was it? So, uh-huh. Was it... When did I go for the trials? Okay, bear with me now, folks, while I fix this mic so Sorry, that she can talk into what's it. wrong with mic? Okay, do you know what? Yeah, it's floppy. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> don't refer to it like that. <laughs> okay, right. right. Talk into that back. So, I don't know when it was. Was it like February? I went for trials up in Dublin. 
and there was like 60 of us and they picked tr- three people for a scholarship this is true soccer yeah and I got it and then I was like going through the whole process and making my choices and where, what state I was going to go to so I picked Florida Oh. and then I came down to all the fees and stuff and I got like 80% off so I had to pay 20% of the fees mm-hmm. and then my dad decided that he didn't want me to go Oh. Oh. so I didn't go and okay. then I got a scholarship to Minute, so. Oh, so you're very, very privileged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got I'm just a so. Too. You got a scholarship too. Yes. Yeah. Th- no comment. No comment. That's great. A delight for you. Thank you. Yeah. What'd you get that for? County football. Yes. That's what I got mine for. County football as well, not soccer. If I got it for soccer, I'd be on the soccer team. <laughs> oh, oh, oh really? Is that, that stung a little bit. Yeah, that, that was sore. So, how do you feel about America? Like, would you have liked to go to America? Was it like, or was it? I'm gonna go next year. You're gonna go next year. Yeah. So you're leaving us. Yeah. But what's? How does that work? Do you just do the same course? Yeah. Well, see, I got biomedical science over in America. And I that's had already got my course. You're doing that here. No, I'm doing biotech here. And what's the difference? I don't know. I just wanted to do biomed. Oh, right. Because over in America, you can get into the hospital straight away. Oh, yeah. And because they have such a super healthcare system out there. You'll probably be rolling the money. That's so expensive. So expensive. Do you know, I I was actually reading a thing the other day about if, you, if you're pregnant in America and you give birth, it's like, it's I think so it's over expensive. like 10 grand. It's like it's over more than that. that. Yeah, that's scary. Like, why? That's... It, do you know what, it, I feel like it's such a bad system that I've actually seen videos of I know it was always taken in like a humorous way of like people like getting in car crashes and stuff and they like jump out of the back of the ambulance but like don't <laughs> <laughs> but like, the, the, like that is the reality of that is is like if you can't afford if you can't afford to go in the ambulance even to get like an ambulance called to your house is like a couple of grand it's 350 euro for like uh or three hundred fifty dollars. I seen like someone pop up their bill for like a cleaning charge, like for changing the sheets on the bed. Oh my god! And we can get four of us into the minute dorms <laughs> for four euro. <laughs> Not that we do that. <laughs> no, we don't do we that. Don't no, do we that. always pay for exactly how many people are in the room. Yeah, it's and like never forty-eight euro per person. Forty-eight euro per person. So we always do that. But you know, like, but even still, if you had two people in a room at whatever that is, nearly ninety-ish euro. Um, what is it, 40 or 43 per person? 43. 43. So if it's 86 euro, and they can clean my room for 86 euro, I suppose if I was in a hospital, I'm bleeding everywhere. I'm <laughs> <laughs> getting sick. Getting sick. Oh, yeah, because no one has ever gotten sick in the room we were in. I'm not going to That is crazy, though. Like the hel- I know the healthcare system here is, well, like, look, I think in comparison, it's not nearly as bad. It's not nearly as bad. Like at least, at least if I have the flu, I'm not paying an arm and a leg to go in because they take that arm and the leg and they actually give it to like car crash survivors. <laughs> when <no one>. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Ella, and he, like, well, you're going to England. Like the healthcare system in England. How does that work? If you get sick in England. If you get sick when you're on holidays in England. You have a European health card. Yeah, but England is isn't in Europe yeah, anymore. Is that, is that <laughs> 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 you don't. Yeah, well, actually, how, yeah. Is a European health card, is that an EU health card or is yeah. that the continent of Europe? It's, it's the EU, EU and Switzerland. <laughs> and do we all have that? Uh, I think you, you have to get it. Yeah. yeah, then you have one. Oh, but if you what? didn't get one, you don't uh, have one. Actually, I don't, I don't. fun fact, when I first seen Beckles when I was getting my health card, Really? Was it? Yeah. Like you were coming a, out of the dentist. <laughs> I don't remember. Why, what age? Why? How long are you friends? Since first year. Since first year. And that's... Even though we live right beside <laughs> each other. <laughs> I never knew she existed. Oh. <laughs> we live five minutes away from each other, but we di- I didn't go to the same primary school as her, even though I live in Cron. Isn't that funny how that works, though? Like, yeah. your friends and everything. Sure, I met you. I met Kirsten first day of fifth year. She moved from Kilbegan, was it? School where uh, in Trim. We went to school in Trim. Yeah. <sighs> so near enough. That? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where's Trim? Mead. 
You're so far away from the mic. Where's Trim? <laughs> it's in Mead. Okay. No, we heard her. <laughs> I'm sorry. We heard her. Yeah. I, yeah, well then, but I had actually seen you uh, about two years before that. Where? Uh, Where? Up through a site. Well, you were walking up with your cousin I up through. I thought you said through a site. <laughs> through a site. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that. We don't want to discuss that's that. That's what you said. No. Uh, you were you were with your cousin. You were with Chloe and Kenny Gad when I saw you. Did you say hi? I, uh, I, do you remember that guy that threw the rock at you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was like, I don't know, I was like, I was with Dermot and we were cycling up through Kinead. Oh yeah, I, mom used to make me wear a helmet when I was young. <laughs> and I used to, ha- I was actually looking through our group chat. I was looking through the lads group chat. Saw some horrible, horrible stuff. But still the worst part of the whole thing was seeing the video of me with the helmet on, on the bike. I don't, oh, I don't know. And do you know what? I only ever got hit by a car three times. <laughs> what? <laughs> three times? He's nine lives, guys. I've, I'm actually a cat. Are you serious? Yes, I am a cat. You got, yeah. you got <laughs> hit by a car three times. <laughs> I mean, please, no, I've never gotten hit by a car. Oh. I've hit people with a car. Yes. Wait till I'm on the road. Me too. <laughs> when uh, when do you have your test booked? No, I didn't book it yet. Have you, are you done your lessons? Yeah. Done do you get your an lessons? invitation? What? Do you get an invitation? What? You have to get an invitation, invitation to, to book your driving test. That's so dumb. Mm-hmm. It takes two months. I got my There's no right backlog in Mullingar, though. You know what? They think, so you think no, they'd I take you out it. for dinner first, I wouldn't you? I checked Mullingar. It's February. Because I was going to do my test there. In Mullingar? Mm. Mm. Total yeah. War has the highest pass rate, though. No, highest fail rate. No, it's the highest pass rate. <laughs> Don't throw Total <laughs> More under the bus like that. We were talking about Total More. Yeah, we were talking about the palace. Because we had our Debs in the Tullamore. Is it the Bridge House? Mm-hmm. Bridge House, yeah. Bridge House. We oh, I left my shoes there. Did well, you? So They're probably still there. If anyone sees them. If anyone's in the friend, palace. Emer can get them for you. Like today. Or what? Serious? They were, 60 there. they were 60 euro. They were 60 she euro. Can check them. Do you remember what they look like? Unless someone seen them and took them. No, they're they behind a flower pot. They, no one would definitely find them. <laughs> no, I mean like they're put in storage and then after a month the workers are allowed to look around. See, they like anything. Oh. Yeah. I was in there before. I'd usually <laughs> just take the shoes off people's <laughs> feet. Uh, I'd just be walking. I'd be walking through my and I'd just see a nice pair of shoes and I'd be like, Ugh, give me them. What are your opinions on my the, shoes? The shoe burglar. Your shoes. What are your opinions on my shoes? Fluffy, brown. No, but like, are they nice? They are nice. Oh. They are nice. Some people have different opinions. Yeah. I was thinking about getting boots. But now I don't want to get what boots because boots? Any, well, like I don't know what like what type of boots are cool. None, none. Are, are no boots. Wellington cool? boots. Wellington boots. Uh, actually, Peppa Pig, wellies was what I was going for. My sister has them. Yeah. Can I borrow them off her? <laughs> Can I get the pair off? Hey, yeah, small feet. I know so small. Oh wow, <laughs> wow. Real, real mature, real <laughs> mature view. You know what they say about small feet? <laughs> Huge <know>. personality. <laughs> <laughs> Did we even have a topic of conversation? Argentina are going to lose. But see, do you know they'll know this? By the time the two people care. are listening, by the time the two people are listening to this podcast, <laughs> probably me and my granny, the million after that. They'll, they'll know that Argentina have lost. So, um, Minute, how are you getting on your courses? This, what week is this? Week nine? Yeah. yeah. Is week nine? Yeah. I, I, I'm feeling okay about it. I'm not. I'm going to fail mathematical physics. Mathematical physics? Yeah. Asher, ah, sure. it's not rocket science. Or is it rocket science? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Ella, how are you getting on with, with every, with psychology? How are you finding the psychology? I don't go. You don't, I don't, don't know. <laughs> don't admit that. Don't admit that. I, 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 I do actually, all the notes, though. Do all the notes. Yeah. I actually had a, I had a friend of mine say he doesn't go to any note or any lectures in second year because he just gets them off the uh, the slides online. Yeah, that's off what I do for psychology. Yes, Kirsten, your hand is up. Off topic, but a topic. If you had <laughs> two, if a genie came to you and he <laughs> granted you. 
two wishes, what would they be? Not tree. Not everyone, tree. Oh, everyone always oh. gives you tree, but I'm only giving you two. <laughs> Being quirky. Yeah. Okay, my first one would be to go to New York. Your second? To come oh. home from New York. <laughs> <laughs> um, win the lotto. Win the lotto. I was going to say that. Uh, my dream. Wish. My wish. I, I'd like to own an island. You know, there's this little island out in the Atlantic Ocean. It's like halfway between the coast of Africa and South America. What's it called? Ascension Island. And it's like, there is, I'm, I don't know the exact number. There's less people than in Kinigad on it anyway, as far as I know. But uh, <laughs> there's like one airstrip on it. They do monthly flights. So when you go there, say if you were to go there on like a holiday. You have to go for a month. You have to go, yeah, yeah. you have to stay for a month. I don't know where they. I think this plane brings all the supplies. It's not like a commercial flight, of course. It's like a cargo flight. They bring all the supplies. I think they grow a lot of the stuff, but it's literally in the middle of nowhere. It's actually not too far from Saint Helena, which is the island where a volcano. No, I don't. Well, no, I don't. I don't know. There My is point a, was there is a volcano called that. Great, but this is I actually this is actually. Do you? Uh, do you? Did you know actually Croton? It's dormant. Do you know Croton Hill is actually a dormant volcano? Now you do. It actually is. It actually is. Interesting. Listen to her. She don't. She lives. What's your second live wish then? Well, well, first of all, yeah, Saint Helena want. is where Napoleon Bonaparte was exiled. Do you want to own an island? island? An island. An island. I'd, <laughs> I suppose. God, I'd actually love to have a load of film gear, like have just a full film crew at my disposal because I, I just want to make. I want to make. What would you film? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I actually want to make I am in the middle of writing a TV series at the moment that I want to shoot next summer with a buddy of mine shout out to Chris McCarthy one of the just the top G's just an absolute legend really yeah he I went to secondary school he was great he actually yeah uh, because I do a lot of writing what? and he read all my he read all my stuff read all my writing he helped me we're shooting a documentary at the moment about Cunningham's train station near Clugan and he actually listened to the first episode of this podcast for me and gave me some great constructive criticism yeah, good and he's probably going to be listening to this now so well, when do you have time to do this documentary when oh, we were doing it over the summer in between work you only listen to it because you paid him what you only listen to it because you paid him Chris <laughs> is a good dear friend of mine <laughs> and he is inspirational okay his work ethic is a lot better than mine shocking work ethic how's your work ethic like how's this are you studying no you never you asked exams? what my wishes were I'm sorry, Kirsten. What are your wishes? Your two wishes from this? Have unlimited wishes. BS. Yeah, but that's like one rule that you can't wish that. That's like an unspoken rule. Says who? Why would you make I up? Made up why the would you make up that there's two wishes? <laughs> and your first wish, your first wish is that there's unlimited wishes. Ella, what's your wishes? I didn't get to say my second. Sorry, what's your, one. You just said you had unlimited wishes. What are you gonna go on forever <laughs> talking about the wishes? I still get two. Like. What's your okay? What's your second wish? Um. I don't know. Uh, a burger from Supermax. <laughs> oh, that would I don't be like nice. Supermax, actually. Yeah, you do. We, can't, we cannot rag on Supermax for another episode. We already <laughs> did this in the first one. Sorry, Darcy, and I was so sense. afraid to put it up because I do not want a lawsuit from Pat McDonough <laughs> because of how popular this podcast is because it's so influential. I like Supermax food. Ella, what's Supermax your... Supermax on a night out yeah, is really Supermax nice. The chicken from a burger. stranger. Yeah. From a stranger? Yeah. yeah. What for do you a mean? free like what do you mean what you got offered one what are you talking about no we went into Supermax we were going to get, get a burger we were going to get a burger and we went over and this lad was sitting here and he was just like do you want our burger <laughs> and we were like yeah and he goes do you want our chips and we were like <gasps> yeah, yeah. he's like do you want our drink and we were like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's uh, some guy he got me he had the needle in it <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about this yesterday some, some guy an older gentleman bought me a bag of you know uh, the round tree snakes yeah the jelly yeah. snakes so I was looking at them and I was like god I'd love a bag of jelly snakes I, I, I think it was like talking crap about the price of them or something and she uh, your man turns around to me and goes try the I'd buy you it mm. I was like you're, you're alright you're alright because it was like initially it was a bit strange like whatever he goes I know I'm getting a bag for myself at least if you buy the bag uh, if it, at least if you eat them I won't feel too bad about eating them myself you just bought me a bag of jelly snakes they weren't actually snakes, they were actually dinosaurs. Oh. Jetty dinosaurs. Mm. Mm -mm. Very nice. Ella, I'm sorry. Two wishes. 
Um, to be able to buy a house in Ireland. Be able to. Oh, yeah. That's actually. That's a yeah, good wish. That's a very good wish. Because I probably won't be able. To and where would you? Where would you like to live? I don't know. Carlin. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> but like, move the house up the mountain. Yeah. 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 Build volcano a house on top of is it. enough. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> top of the volcano. Live it's on top a of the hill. But it's a volcano. Oh, underneath. Christ! It is a hill. Yeah. Yeah. And St Patrick is meant to be bu- buried there. St. Patrick. Yeah. Yeah. His well <laughs> is around the corner of the hill. Simon, do you want to go and dig it up? Do you want to go and dig up St. Patrick? You can go down and walk into it. Into the well? Yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's not like a water filled It's not wet. It's just you a can't swim. holy well. Mm-hmm. Really? I just got very tired, like. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm out for the count. Uh, so, yeah, would you, you'd stay living in Cross? Mm, maybe. I I, uh, I I I kind of maybe in between Croton and Burr. And Burr. Yeah. That's that's Tullamore. You're not gonna live there. Why? What's oh that? yeah, true. Do you wanna <laughs> do you wanna <laughs> offend all the Tullamore yeah. people, Rebecca? Y- yeah. It's literally the biggest. No, 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 no. You can't. Be, <laughs> you can't say that. Yeah, we can't. You yeah. cannot say. You cannot. We spent six years of our life there. Don't yeah. care. And it's just not. It. Oh, is this because we'll of let us leave after You're hitting the road, Connor, are you? Yeah. Connor and Grace were actually sitting in listeners mm-hmm. the whole time. And make sure to keep an ear out because I think the next episode, next episode or maybe episode four, will be featuring these two astounding human beings. So I'll see you later, guys. <gasps> Did someone score? <laughs> see you. So, uh, to- yeah, well, like, I, we went to school in Roger Bridge. I went to school in Roger Bridge for well, six years and I like Roger Bridge. Yeah, I was meant to go there. I was too. Yeah, so what happened? You were meant to go to Roger Bridge. Yeah. Then I got into Tullamore. Yeah, the same. And you decided to go to Tullamore instead. And then my brother got into Tullamore and then wanted to go to Roger Bridge last minute. Oh, Ben. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hi, Ben. Because mm-hmm. uh, we actually... That was a weird thing we had in common. Because Ben knew me. Yeah. But that was that was when we were... We had gotten talking. Yeah. That's not... Curtains <laughs> have to show me your phone and it says we need to get funny on it. <laughs> 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 Why did you say that? <laughs> uh, right, second wish, Ella. I don't know. Don't know. What do people wish? For? Like, is is it just? I feel like the lottery is. I went yeah. to see Santa the other day with my little sister. She's three, and yeah. he asked me what I want for Christmas, and I said a car. No, you yeah. didn't. You told me what you said. No, because mm-hmm. oh, okay, <laughs> that's actually. I said I wanted a boyfriend first, and he was like, I can't get you one of them. So no, he was like, he was like real. He was real perverted, and he was like, "Yeah, I can sort of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sit in my lap." Yeah, I asked him for, he made me sit in his lap, guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop! <laughs> yeah. What else did you ask for? A car. What did he say? No. A car. What type of a car? So, I mean, something that just gets me around the place because I crashed into a pole on my mom's <laughs> new jeep. I have heard about this. Yeah. And I left is the, the polo slanted? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and I burst the radiator in her car, which is probably a worse. Ugh. Ugh. So I'm never allowed to drive her car again. Oh, so. oh, because of that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so what's the dream car then? I'm not much of a car person, but I, yeah, I have a dream mine. car. Well, my car is nice. Oh. <laughs> Mini, isn't it? Yeah. What color is it? Blue, blue and blue white. Mini. Blue oh. with white stripes, white stripes and a white <laughs> roof. Like and it's a like leather Herbie. inside. Herbie, you remember Herbie? Was Herbie blue? Kirby. No, Herbie. Remember the the race car? <laughs> Did you ever see a, a Herbie? Herbie go bananas. Yeah, the car. Yeah, and no. it was the little, little race car, and it was like pure rip off of Transformers. <laughs> yet he couldn't turn into a, a robot. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, uh, have you not seen Herbie? No. Herbie fully loaded. Oh, he's white. Never mind. Let's see. <laughs> He's white. That's the car. It's not even a Beetle. He's that's a uh, or it is a Beetle. Or is that's, it's not, not a Mini. It is a Beetle. A Volkswagen Beetle. Um, my dream car is a 1968 black Ford Mustang from America. I'd love to. You just, just said you're not really specific. much of a car person. I'm not a car person, but I just know that car specifically. I don't even know what got me onto that car, but I just. It's like it's a muscle car. Muscle cars are cool. I like muscle cars. I'm okay. not a big Jeep person. Mom is a Jeep, and I just. I understand that whole you're in a bigger vehicle like the risk of we have a seven seater you have a seven seater yeah you seen it yesterday the white we did I waved at your dad yeah I mm. waved at her he was like who's waving I was like Simon and Kirsten and what did he say 
Sounds really like, good looking at my leave my wife. <laughs> 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 no, he was I like. I swear I saw him out in that. He was like, oh, who is that? Who's that? Did he not know? No. Did he not know who it was? Do you not talk about us? No. At all? Yeah, I do. Have so you ever mentioned us at home? Yeah, it's my mom. What do you refer to us at? <laughs> Simon and Kirsten. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm allergic to you. I'm just really hurt. That wasn't even funny. That wasn't even funny. <laughs> He's allergic to me. How could you be allergic to me? Is it my, in me talking? Yeah. Anyway, so how, what do you tell your dad about? I don't say anything to my dad. About you. Put on. your hand down. Beck is in the middle of speaking. <laughs> yeah, wait till she's finished speaking. You wouldn't be a good teacher anyway. Should you tell your mom about us? Yeah, curse and go. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have any funny stories? Funny stories. Do you have any funny stories? No. Anything happened recently? Well, See, my cousin turned 18 my, and she got a dog for her birthday. Her mom ran over the dog on her birthday. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> See, when you told me that story, it went on for five minutes and I didn't see where it was going at all. <laughs> uh, it was actually going over the dog. Bruh. <laughs> oh. But um, no, that wasn't funny. That wasn't funny. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's... My in, cousin's actually sure crying listening sure to this. I'm sure he's a doggy him. Sorry, um, a good person, a good dog. Many funny <gasps> stories. Girls, what? I have a topic. I am not a girl. Yeah, go on. What would your ideal date night be? Shut up. Um, Got my live answers. I said girls first. Okay, sorry. You go first. I don't know. Not bowling. <laughs> no, <laughs> no yeah, bowling gives me bowling the ache. Hell. I went bowling. Bowling's good. Mm -mm. I heard the cinemas. Yeah, I like. I like going to the cinema. Not, not on like for, a first day. Yeah. Not on a first day, but I like bringing people to the cinema because I think that moment of awe, like, it's not like comfortable silence. Comfortable silence is nice. We're going to the cinema later, maybe. No, we're not. But we're not going out. What? I told you I'm having a family party. Uh, so we're going tomorrow. This is my birthday present. I have a game tomorrow. Are you going? I'm not going. What? You're not going. I have a game tomorrow. Uh, I, I'm not going Thursday. Boo. I have semi final. I want, want to come see. To it. Where is it? I'm driving. Whereabouts is it? Where Where is the semi final? Dulik. Dulik. Like how far away is that? Okay, I might. I'll bring my. We're after missing history. <laughs> so we're gonna continue. <laughs> uh, um, oh, I told. I made. Uh, I, I may. I may have told someone I was going to history. A girl. Her name's I, Ada. She's blonde. She's from Dublin. She Ada's has a really strong Dublin accent. She's really cute. She looks like Violet out of uh, Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Hi, Ada. Ada, <laughs> actually, Ada's gonna be on this. Ada said she'd come on this. No, hey. it wasn't actually. It actually wasn't. Ada doesn't do a double. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop naming out. <laughs> Why is there so many people? There's not, there's not <laughs> that can one. I please name there's them and you can just bleep them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Thank God. Won. She's run out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh no. You're giving me so much. Keep saying the same name, I do so much, so much editing of this now. Later on, <laughs> no, this will take me ages. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's Holly. 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 But a different Becca. one. Becca. No, stop. <laughs> stop. I. I've <laughs> There's not that many. She's actually only repeating words. Don't worry. These aren't all separate people. She's repeating names. Pranked. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, date minimum. night, guys. What was your idea of date night? Oh, um, so not bowling. No. Why not be in front of the Hollywood sign? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's really doable. Well, that's yeah. That's You're really not bringing me on a date. Yeah. What? I didn't. S I wouldn't want to bring you on a date. You know why? Simon, you asked me last night. To oh. go for a <laughs> I'm gonna have to go uh, for a picnic. <laughs> I actually, do you know what? I'll um, tell you now. I, I only wanted to go to the cinema <laughs> for your birthday because I wanted to see the Brendan Gleeson film. I didn't want to go on my own. <laughs> and I was like, I hit I two birds with one stone. Right, the picnic. The picnic. I went. That didn't happen. <laughs> Stop lying to me. Mm, sure. Oh, one of the finest wines. The, f <laughs> 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 the, one, the one you made when you had to stand in. You know when when you I was in jail. Stand, stand <laughs> in the bowl and walk around on your bare feet to make it. Yeah. No, where did they That's do what that you're into, Africa? is it? That's Rome, Italy, yeah, Italy. <laughs> Italy in the you drink <laughs> feet, like you know, drink feet. feet. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> I don't know when. 
Hey, uh, look at that. People, I don't know why there's a humongous I hope people there. don't get offended by that, actually. <laughs> what? Because I heard that that means something else. She's making the other rock sign, but she's doing it backwards. Does that mean something else? Yeah. I'm sure they heard that. <laughs> but it beat it out. Means, no, do you think it's a, a slur towards that group? Do you feel like it's like... Yeah, like... Like, when I stick you to finger, you know specifically it's you. <laughs> You just yeah. see me in a crowd. You just know it's you. I wonder. Simon, if, what would your ideal date night be? My ideal date night. Yeah. I like to consider myself making Lego. Making Lego. <laughs> that uh, making. Uh, see, I don't know. What I don't bacon? Know. What? Have you ever bacon. went on a date before? Bacon. Have you? Um, I've went for drinks before. I went for drinks. I like going out for food. I think food is a nice one. Yeah, but that's so like generic. We are now. Um, it, I know it's so generic, but it's like I I don't know. But see, then saying that I like I'm very picky with my food. Why drunk bacon? Drunk bacon. Yeah, that's fun. I actually do. If love you click bacon. on the link under this video, we have um a, a live stream a sign, of me in a day. A sign up sheet for to go on a date with <laughs> Simon Kieran. <laughs> this is so you can't be saying this. He's yeah, the guy man. that um the post was oh. about on the. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that, is, that is a good segue. But Manute confessions. I, we were, we, Ella. We must have been in the class when that happened. Basically, some lad was uh, yeah, but hammering was so the weird. job on himself in jerky. jerk beef jerky in uh, in our psychology lecture. Yeah, first year psychology. That's. Yeah. But I wonder, is that true? I like, how easy is it for me? To, I have the video. You have the video. <laughs> I was the girl. Do you watch the video? That's gross, man. Why would you video that? I wonder, like, if I put in a submission, like, who's going to tell me I'm lying? Yeah, exactly. Well, one of them said that they had sex with their children. <laughs> this year? Can I yeah. read something out I just read on Instagram? Yeah. I suppose, where you're going to... Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to people from Sligo. Sligo people search British on Pornhub more than any other county, according to study. Wait, what? Say it again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they search Psycho for people search British on Pornhub more than that. Why is, why is that? <laughs> all right, Sly all right. That, how could you be doing that? Sligo has some explaining to do. Sligo, it, Sligo does have no, some explaining. that one. Right? Oh yeah, well I read that. Out. Yeah. Right, to the person who removed the uh, removed a coffee coffee cup filled with my <laughs> from the back of class hall C in the arts building. I'm truly sorry. Uh, why we can't? I, are we? What about the poor children that are listening to this podcast? This you should put a like podcast? age thing on it. An age restriction. Yeah, like how uh, some of those minute confessions, I feel like they are so blunt <laughs> and so yeah, graphic that they cannot <laughs> be true. <laughs> Do the boy with the most succulent lips and succulent <laughs> <laughs> succulent lips and bald head and first year science I dream about you in lectures <laughs> Do you know that what? was there's, me listen there's a story about that Do you know so Sean Ruby oh, Sean that's Ruby that's me, Sean way. Ruby Jonathan and Colm are coming on this now I think they're doing episode 4 or 5 and that's actually about Jonathan that's about them in you're in your science class Becca in the labs Jonathan's in there with G isn't he you know John, yeah, Sean yeah. Rubens, right? And he, That's like, him. Which girl? Like, I can't see that from here. Give me a second to finish this. <laughs> no. So wh which girl Which girl would <laughs> would post a minute confessions and use the word succulent and attractive bald head? So they're convinced it's about Jonathan, but they just think it's one of the lads. But it's none of his immediate fellas. So they just don't know who... <laughs> they don't know who <laughs> goes into minute confessions. <laughs> Sorry, go on. This one, read this one out. I, Me, like, do I? You're gonna think of someone who I'm thinking of. I'm not. I, I am not reading that. Out. That is <laughs> graphic. Is <laughs> That's. Do you, do you, you want to think it? the same person that I'm thinking of when I read this? W don't read that out. Do not. We're not, we're not <laughs> that one Becca just handed me is not being read. If you if you want to go see these, they're on Manu Confessions. Follow them on Instagram. It's really entertaining. Oh I have a good friend. laugh about it. Manu Confessions. Shout out to Manu. Go on, read out your one. You're gonna. You're gonna laugh. Okay. Right now. Make sure and say this into the mic. Moved into my new apartment and within six oh. hours, I slept with my roommate. Lol. <laughs> six I don't hours! Want to say, uh, no, like, <laughs> who are you thinking of? The same person you're thinking of. I'm not. I, I'm thinking of someone I'm. You do, I, it doesn't matter <laughs> who I'm thinking of. <laughs> who are you matter. thinking of? It's not someone I know. <laughs> how about that? That's sarcasm. I can see it in your eyes. 
<laughs> yeah, but they can't because it's a podcast. <laughs> but um, is it someone we know? I don't know. Is it? Like, I it doesn't it doesn't matter. We're, I like Manuk confessions are great and all. Manuk confessions are great, but we can't. You cannot be. We can't be even making out that we know these people. We oh, can't this be doing is this. bad. Um, have you seen what other ones are, are there on? There was um, Hello. there was some guy yeah, uh, slamming the salmon for in a dorm. Oh, yeah, yeah. A girl saw, the girl saw, uh, yeah, a bunch of girls saw him, and then, <laughs> and then there was another one like a few weeks later where he he sent one in, and he's yeah. like, to the girls who saw me, I get off on that, so yeah. thank you. <laughs> that was. And they told the whole world or something. Like that. Yeah, I thought that was funny. That's um, I don't know if I if I saw that happen, I don't know if I would put that in somewhere. Is that fair? But then saying that, who does that with the with the blinds open? Who does that at all? Okay, Becca. That's all right. <laughs> Don't what? play innocent. This one, this one. Me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I would not like a room on the ground floor. I wouldn't like that. Do you see the size of the apartment? Like the real tall block? Yeah, we yeah. can see that from training, but you can see right in through the windows. And people have their window. And people have their blinds open. Like, Just and you walk can see around. Them ball bag naked yeah that's so uh, I'd be very paranoid about that even when I'm at home I don't <laughs> like getting changed in the room without the blinds closed in oh, case okay. the scary clown that lives under my bed is outside my window do so you just slide me the phone right what are we looking at had sex with my tutor I said that already did you <laughs> I like I don't know do you think that's true but the tutors, the tutors aren't that much older than us. Tutors are just like third or fourth. My tutor for yeah. mathematical physics is like My tutor like for 30. sociology. Yeah. She's like younger than us. Yeah. Uh, my uh, psychology tutor, she must be only maybe two years older than me, Max. See, I'm kind of, I'm kind of old though. Yeah, but is it still not illegal for them to do that with students? Why? I don't know what. Because it's a, a something about power. Student. Oh. Professional role, be, yeah, yeah, like in a professional setting. Because how we, yeah, I suppose you could say like, oh, if you give me better grades, I'll uh, do you a favor. <laughs> do you a favor. Do you a favor. Oh no. Um, <laughs> that's uh, yeah, but yeah, I'd say it's I'd say it's illegal because of that, not the age bracket at all, which is the same thing in secondary school. I used to. I remember hearing the story of this like. 14 year old lad that was doing it with like a trainee teacher who was still like 23 or 24 14 14 yeah Seven and it was a fella it was a, the 14 year old was a fella and it was obviously a lady teacher was that my point is that she obviously that's pedophilia yeah, but what the hell was she at man she had some life issues Clearly. She man, she was good looking. She could have sh <laughs> she could have sent me a text. She could have sent me a text. Me, I was the fourteen year old. Yeah. Man, I wouldn't be complaining. No, but uh, that's is there that was actually a weird teacher in our school as well. But he Mr. got fired. He got for and right, without name and people, what happened? So basically one time me and Ella went into class and we were early. So he opened the he door and was like, come in or whatever. We were like, okay. And then he turned around and no one else was in the classroom. And he locked the door and winked at us and the went... The two of you were in the room. Yeah, yeah. And winked at us and went, shh. <laughs> and I was... And locked the door. He yeah. locked the door. <laughs> me and Ella, it was only me and Ella in the room and him. Oh. <laughs> what? what? Yeah, and oh. then like... One minute later, he opened the door, and everyone was kind of like <laughs> looking in the room, like, "Why were they in there with him?" What the hell? Do you think he just did it to kind of make people think, rather than actually do no, something? No, because he used to come in between me and Becca and push his face up against. Her. Yeah, like like we'd be sitting like this because we sat beside each other in Irish course, yeah. for three years, and like he'd come in and like he'd be like this, <laughs> and, and it'd be so weird. And then and when we were in fifth year. <laughs> he put out a link on teams for porno. <laughs> no, he did. He did, <laughs> and he got fired. Oh. But no, he put out like the date. It was like a, he was putting up a link, a link for the date for a test, and he put like yeah. something dot eighteen. So it and it came up as a link of for a site over eighteens, and like the people were all like giving out, and he he lost his job over it. That's and what age of a guy was this? Like, was he a younger guy? Was he older? Ah, he was older, but I don't know. 
That's really yeah. Well, uh, sh- uh, well he was actually you. a good teacher. I actually miss no, him. No, I pass Irish. Because <laughs> no, yeah, I actually do. <laughs> this sounds weird, but I actually do. That's. <laughs> <laughs> that, actually I'll be honest that doesn't look like a guy at all that you'd think that's you yeah it does I don't know that's, that is strange yeah that is really that's just oh he used to be like oh how's my crying girls Bruh. how's my girls mm-hmm. today mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't say that we had anyone see as a fella I suppose I wouldn't have noticed yeah. it as much um <laughs> Yeah, I used to just get on with... Actually, there's a funny teacher. Shout out to Miss MacDonald. Do you know her, Kirsten? Miss MacDonald. Remember Miss MacDonald? Yeah. Miss MacDonald lives in... She'll kill me now. <laughs> she lives in Kaluk and Raharney. She lives down that neck of the woods. And I always see her when I'm out on the bike. And I was out on the canal the other day. Listen to a, listen to a podcast. Um, which I'll actually speak about the podcast. I only listen to one other podcast. But it really made me want to start this podcast. I met her on the canal and she like sh- she was like Simon Simon she shouted at me across the canal so I kind of in a panic stopped and um, there she was across the canal and she was with I don't know if it was ne- nieces or nephews her children or who was but she yeah uh, sure was just talking to her across the canal for ages she's so nice but I I like I like teachers like that that out in the real world you can sit down and like talk to them or stop with them and actually have a conversation because I feel like this whole thing of like ruling or I suppose maintaining a classroom through punishment and mm-hmm. fear tactics just doesn't work we had a we had a miss, miss uh, biology teacher yeah. <laughs> we're not saying her name because she, yeah, will, find she us. will find us yeah we had a and uh, she will kill us <laughs> <laughs> we're not joking we had a uh, I can't even say what subject she taught because everybody will know straight away but we had a certain teacher who would really put the fear of God into you. And it wasn't fair at all. I, uh, It actually really turned me off. I've put it down to why I really just didn't enjoy maths. And this was all through my junior cycle. And it was just terrifying. I never had issues in the school at all, except for this one teacher. And I just don't think that works. I think no. it's not a nice system. I feel like, I feel like it is getting better now. I feel um, Mr. O'Brien... Niall O'Brien was such a legend of a teacher. He was just, That's he was like a trainee really. teacher. Mm-hmm. What, who, he plays for, uh, who does he play for though? He plays hurling for someone. For some, uh, for county. I'm pretty sure he's a county hurler anyway. Yeah, he is. He's just really yeah. great guy. He plays for, uh, yeah, I actually don't know. I remember, see, I what I remember watching a game, Dad and Colin had it on, on the telly. But, um, he's an example of just like obviously I don't play football so it was I didn't think I'd have much to talk to him about but he's just a really nice guy but he's the type of teachers you want to see coming up you know these good teachers that you actually want to go to the class I think it's just that is the problem with kids nowadays if you're not giving them a good enough reason to go they will not care and they won't go because there's so many distractions nowadays when you think of our um, when you think of our parents going to school there's no smartphones there was no like even the computer services were not nearly as good yeah like I think the fact that I have a laptop in my bag at all times that I can turn out record a podcast on edit the podcast all on this one thing no bother at all it's just crazy but it is such a distraction so you really have to be keeping people entertained but uh I'm actually the podcast do you listen to any podcasts yeah which podcast do you listen to Saving Grace say and what's that about G.K. Barry. Go on, Nick. Explain more. I, I've talked about this. everything. Yeah. And anything. Everything and anything. There's and no it, filter. I'll is it kind of, is it women? Is it like... I'll, it's I'll, like other people on it, like famous people on it. Yeah. It's just talks about everything. And it's, it's, I actually was very against podcasts. Not against them, but I never really saw a time mm-hmm. for them. Um, except for this. What did you say? Yeah. Ow. Person, do you listen to any podcasts? No. No, I listen to uh, just one podcast. I listen to it's these guys on YouTube that I watch. Spoon Kid, <laughs> a Spoon Kid on YouTube, and I watch and like the game he plays. I don't even play myself, but it's just you know these people that are just so funny. Okay. And I feel like if he if he played anything or did anything, it'd be hilarious. But I I found out from watching the videos on YouTube that they ha- were doing a podcast. Him and his editor, oh. Dinkbot. So it's Kevin and Nick. 
and they're just the the Goomba podcast. I'd really recommend anyone that's up for a laugh. And it's very like I don't want to say niche humor, but it's really just it's just so funny. It's just and it's it's so like <sighs> casual. It's these two like kind of awkward at times guys, and they just like Kevin especially like he just gets himself in these awkward situations. But I think awkward situations everyone gets them into are just the funniest things in the world. Mm-hmm. I think if you can get over the embarrassment thing, like even, oh God, in the petrol station, there's this one girl that comes into the shop all the time. And whenever she's coming in, like, she's a very good looking girl. And I say to myself, don't go red in the face. But don't do. go red in the face. And every time I do, and I'm convinced, like, and like, Castle it's just, Town Gagan. Castle Town Gagan. That's Niall O'Brien, by the way. Shout out to Niall O'Brien. That's not even far away. No, it's not too far at all. <laughs> it's just outside Turles Pass. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I always go red in the face when she comes in. And it's really like... Ugh. I, I, and I can't help myself. You ever get like that? You uh, you were telling me about that before, Becca. Some fella came into Centra. Oh, yeah, and I wrapped his roll, like, really badly. And then Katie started laughing at me. That's it. <laughs> that's... that's. I make yeah. a story of it. Make a story. Well, Can actually, I tell a story? I have a funny story from work. Go ahead, go Becca. You go uh, first. Uh, we flip a coin now or something. One East Peak. You go first. Go ahead. Me? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. So I used to work in a deli in Centra and uh, in Johnstown Bridge. And um, this like beautiful guy came in. Like he's actually like the most good looking guy I've seen in a good while. And yeah. he came in and asked for a wrap. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. But like I was only like two weeks working here. So I was still a bit nervous. Like, yeah. But... It was like a busy town, so like at lunchtime, all guys came in like that were in Snickers. So yeah. I was so shaky. Workers. Workers. And was yeah. it mainly like young guys or? Mainly. Yeah. Young guys, yes. This guy who's gorgeous, maybe about twenty three, came in and asked for a wrap, and he asked for so many cappings on it. So right, it you like caught fun. a wrap it. So I wrapped it, yeah. <laughs> wrapped it, perfect. I was like, do you want a cut? So I went to grab my knife. <laughs> And the wrap open because I didn't like it was flip like, it. Yeah, and I did flip it, but it was too short. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the wrap open and all of his top ones like fell out and just <laughs> like, and you know the way you can see like through the deli oak, he was like yeah. looking and he started laughing and I like s- went like so red. <laughs> and then my boss came over and she was like, "Move, I'll do it." And she had to make a whole new wrap. So he was standing there, I say, for about a good. Nearly ten minutes. Really? Because he wanted to toast it as well then. Oh, we mm. don't toast our wraps in Centra. Was that the same thing that kind of happened to you then, Becca? Or is that the funny story? <laughs> well, yeah, I know, like, I was just wrapping the roll. And, like, usually, like... You were wrapping, the ro- like, wrapping it with paper? Yeah, the paper. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah. So it was done. Yeah, the roll was made. That was all grand. But usually I can wrap it, like, perfectly, right? But for some reason, like, half the roll was just sticking out. And he was just like, uh, thanks. <laughs> and I was like, I can wrap it again for you. And he was like, no, it's grand. And then he went up to the counter and Katie, who I usually always work with, was scanning the roll in at the counter. And it fell out with a wrapper oh. on the till. <laughs> and then she was really embarrassed and I was really embarrassed. And he was just standing there like, uh, OK. But then another time, there was a really long queue in the shop and I was in the deli and usually there's only one person on the till. So I had to come up from the deli to the till. Mm-hmm. And behind the the till is so small and there's a bin there. But there was, Katie had the baskets from like, when the old people come in, they used baskets. And she had them like in the way. And I was trying to avoid them. But no, I stood on it nearly. I fell into the, where the alcohol is, you know, we have like a slidey door thing. Yeah, yeah. I fell into that. I fell over the bin. The bin went everywhere and everyone in the queue was just staring at me. And I was so red. I was so, so red. Isn't it? Isn't it? We were actually talking about this on the last episode. How uh, Ashling was saying how <laughs> to when you just get like hurt, yeah. But you try and play it off. <laughs> you try and play it off like yeah. it's all okay. Example: If you get hit by a car, that's like what you're she, expected to get back up straight away. Like yeah, she, we, 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 get we're hit by a car. About, we were talking about X, and she said, uh, "Such an ick when someone gets hit by a car." Oh my god! Can we do X? Do you have an ick? <laughs> I don't we know should why. ask everybody. This should be a running thing. Ask everybody their ricks when they come on. So what? what Mine's flip flops. I don't like matching hoodies and tracksuit. 
Imagine how he's in tracksuits. Ella, we're talking about X. Talking about oh. Ella's back. She was gone for a moment. Yeah. So we're here, talking. Here, do you want to sit here? I don't want to sit in that seat. So Move imagine. Forward. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, sit down. Oh, what are you doing? Sit down. Mm-hmm. Kirsten, have you taught any more eggs? Oh, I've loads. Loads. Right, we'll get to you in a moment. Kirsten is like, Kirsten is like, like flip flops. Like flip flops. You can just twist it. Yeah, yeah. So, matching hoodies and tracksuits. Yeah, I just can't. I don't. I. Uh, I. I don't think it suits me. What do you? What do you like? this move? So what? What is it? Is it just? It's not. <laughs> it's not even that. It's like when it's like bright red or bright yellow or something. Or like all blue or something. I saw. I saw. Like it's okay if it's like maybe like grey track bottoms and then like I a don't darker grey hoodie or something. No, like even like a different colour hoodie with a bit of grey in it. If that's the way you want to match it. Yeah. Just don't yeah. go the full. I saw. I saw. <laughs> I saw three guys. We were in myself and Kirsten were in history. <laughs> So three guys were in like Nord face jackets, <laughs> but they had three different colors. It was yellow, what was yellow, it? blue, and red. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, you told me that. <laughs> it's like the prime color gang, the Teletubbies, the Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Uh, I thought I, I, <laughs> I don't know. It was funny. What's that? It was an ick. What? Ella, do you have any icks? Um. Ick, because I actually someone <laughs> said to me when they were listening to this, they were like, I I don't know what that word you're saying is. It's I C K. An ick. Yeah. Yeah. Fire away. And um, when lads wear their school bags on one shoulder. <laughs> you think that's an ick? Yeah. I think it's an ick if they wear it on two. Well, yeah, but like it's worse if they wear it on one. Uh, so what are they supposed to do? Carry well, yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Just carry it in your hand. Hey. Um, oh, God. <laughs> a wheelie bag. A wheelie bag. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's so true. I don't like when they say, like, like, Anything in a baby voice. That's oh, stop! <laughs> a baby voice. Anything in a baby voice. Ooh, oh, yeah, my well, little, like, my like, little girl. <laughs> like, like, sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, that's just oh. no. Oh, my God. Mm, that's not. I can't do that, I, no. I, uh, <laughs> if they eat something hot, and they're like, <gasps> <laughs> 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 that's, that's you, you know when you're have... chewing and you're like, Actually, the embarrassment, the embarrassment no, like, of like, yeah, tr- you throw the chip in your mouth and it's way too hot <laughs> and you just don't have a drink and you just kind of sit there and you're like, nobody, nobody sees me. No, when they're like, when they're like late and then they run to like <laughs> get something like a bus or get into a car oh. or when they run across a zebra crossing. <laughs> yeah, when they come speeding upstairs from the library and go straight yeah. across. <laughs> so we did that the other day. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I always, uh, I, I don't like when people just I always went get up when if it's go if it's start if it's yellow and it's starting to go red, I'm just like I'll just wait. Yeah. I just wait. Yeah. Wait, people that just rush for across. So long, so people calm down. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably be one of mine now. I wouldn't be a would be a huge fan of that. I I we were saying though Sean was kind of right what he was saying the last episode as well. He was saying that it's I think it's more of a a female thing, the X. No, it's not. No. No, I feel like girls feel the ick more towards fellas than a fella would well, towards girls. Well, Connor told me all his icks. Yes. Yeah, and, what, and what are Connor's icks? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, when I can't make a decision. Uh, that does annoy me. Oh, that's not an ick. Yeah. It is a little bit. This one over here. Shocking at making decisions. I'll just say, because I'll just go. We'll just go do something. I'm the same, like with the boys. Some days Dermot... Dermot, Dermot it. especially. Look into it. Dermot's great, but it's like making plans in advance. When we were younger, it used to be a disaster. Whereas if I showed up at the house on the bike, we'd go and we'd have a great time. But it was the whole thing of like planning the day before. And then when it comes around, you're like, oh, do I really want to go and do this? And then you don't. But if you, <laughs> if you just went, it'd be good. You know, like how we were going to not get off the bus and just go and see that movie there. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out. Mm-hmm. Right, so I don't know if I have any more eggs. Um, Imagine if they fell in the shower. Bruh. That's so bad. You can't. <gasps> Them waiting for the shower to heat up and they're <laughs> naked. Like <laughs> 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 oh, naked and they put their hand in. It's too hot. They <laughs> jump back. <laughs> <laughs> like <"Burr." laughs> It's chilly out here. <laughs> Okay, right, we're coming up on an hour now. 
Really? What a way, yeah. I have to go to sociology soon. Gotta so go to sociology. Yeah. Well, we're coming up in an hour. Are you, do you wanna... <gasps> One more. <sighs> if they drop something, like, you know, in school, like, they're going under the table with it. <laughs> And then they bang around <laughs> their head on the way up. Like. I did that before we oh. started. I was trying to plug in a cable. Well, we're coming up on an hour. Android phones. Android. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's not Shut up. No, it's not. They're tanks. <laughs> they are hardy. <laughs> uh, har har oh, I'm going to have to beep that. <laughs> coming up. Save. <laughs> give me more work. Stop cursing. So, I've been. I kind of wanted to always. Wait, wait. Are you allowed to curse at home? Fuck. No, not at all. Really? Yeah, same. Big trouble. Really? Yeah. You're serving yeah. us the wooden spoon. What? The wooden spoon? I was never allowed until my brother started. It's like rules change for younger ones. Don't they? I hate that. Okay, well... I, I always wanted to finish this on, like... Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, and you'll never be invited to a party, but... I kind of got laughed at for saying that last week. Why? I don't know. Is it cringy? No. I feel like even if you call it something cringy, it's cringy. Yeah, exactly. Now you've made it cringy. Yeah. Right, well, we'll wrap up. We're going to get this copyright strike. I want to make money off this. You can't be playing copyright. Right, folks. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Uh, episode 3. Who knows who'll be on episode 3? We don't know. See you later. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.